So in this video, we're going to be creating our first character. Our character is not going to do anything but exist. But how do we go about creating a character and putting it into our world? So anytime we want to create something new to go into construct, we right click and do insert new object. If we right click on the background, there's a couple more options here to do the background, but we can just insert a new option at the top there. So we've got our new object. What type of object do we want? We're going to scroll down. We're looking for one called Sprite. And we can give this sprite a name. So I'm going to call it player because we're going to have multiple sprites in our game. We want to be very clear which one's which. And we press insert. And when this arrow appears, a little crosshair, just click anywhere. So that's the basic setup. Now what we need to do is we need to actually turn this into pixel art. Because I want to do pixel art for my character. It's not the only gaming style you can do, but let's stick with pixel art for now. So this is set up to be 250 by 250. Now, if we did 250 divided by 8, we'd end up with 31.25, which is a decimal number, which is no good to us. We want a whole number. So what we're going to do is just resize our grids, and we're going to change it to 256 by 256. Now, 256 by 256 divides into 8 32 times. So just press OK. And now we've got something that's set up more for pixel art, something that can be divisible by eight. We can then set up a grid to go with that. So we're going to right click, config grid. And I've set mine up already because I know that each grid is going to be 32 by 32. But again, if you're not sure what size your grid's going to be, just take your number, so 256, divide it by eight. And that's the number that you want to put in for the width and the height. We want everything to snap to center. And the grid color doesn't matter too much unless you're working with a lot of a certain color you might want to change it to a different color so press ok and toggle the grid on so now our grid's on we can start filling this in now normally we'd use the paintbrush tool a lot of the time that we used in the first video but you'll see that this doesn't quite work because we're getting circles we need to actually click on the pencil tool and make sure the size is set to 32. So now what I can do is I can start creating my character and you'll see that as I move my mouse around it's already trying to snap it in the center because we've got the grid on. So I'm going to quickly come up with a character design that I want my character to look like. Give us my eyes and a surprise mouth. And then I can also use the bucket tool to fill in the rest of the gaps. So this is my little character that I've got. Now, the grid only exists when creating the character. So as soon as we turn the grid off, this is what our character actually looks like. So just be aware of that, that you won't keep the grid for your character. So once we're finished, we can press on the X. And this is our character in our world. And you'll see that it comes under the object type. So if we want to edit it, we can right click, edit animations. Or we can click on the object itself and click edit. In the next video we'll add an animation to go along with this.